We are joined by Linwood women's basketball head coach, Tony Francis. Coach, you guys had a tough loss here in Highland um, against Lincoln. Uh, can you just kind of give us an overview of that game? You know, like I said after the game, I was the kids that were on the floor, uh, I thought played their hearts out. And, you know, we, we showed film. Uh, take nothing away from Lincoln. You know, the, the, they're, they're getting better. They've got some really nice players. But when we showed film and we broke it down and explained to the kids, you know, we, we gave up 21 points off of non-communication. You, know, uh, you know, talking at both ends of the court is important. And uh, because we didn't rotate, because we didn't pick the right man up, non-communication led to 21 points. We, we left 18 points in layups out on the court. And you shoot, you know, what we shoot, 66%, uh, 67% from the free throw line. You know, you just, you hit a couple of those layups, you talk a little bit better at the defensive end, those two or three possessions uh, are huge, you know, and, and we probably don't even go into overtime. Uh, I don't care who's on the floor and who's on the bench. I don't care. I have high expectations for all 14 young ladies. They know it, and I'm glad that they embrace that. You know, our 12th, 13th, and 14th kids want to be coached the same way as 1, 2, and 3. So it's a tough loss. you got to learn from it and, and get, get prepared for what's about to happen. Coach, you guys take on Central Missouri on Saturday. Uh, you guys lost them here at home. They outplayed you guys in the first quarter. But second, third, and fourth, you guys clearly outplayed the Jennies here in Highland. How can you take those final three quarters of success and carry it over into Saturday? Well, I think the first thing we do is we hit on the first quarter. Why did we play that way? Well, uh, you know, uh, our defense, you know, and, and kind of the mistakes we made, you know, on the scout, uh, our offense, and, and the way they guarded us. So you look at that, and, and you watch, and you, and you learn from your mistakes. Then you reinforce, for the confidence purpose, you reinforce your girls, and this is what we did in the last three quarters, and, and you try to, you know, capitalize on, on what they saw and, and feel good about themselves. It's a totally different game out there. Uh, they've gotten a lot better. I think they're ranked, you know, 16th in the country now. Uh, they're one of the four teams that's ranked in the top eight in our region. So, you know, they're, they're a great ball club. Coach Slifer does a great job. And, and with our situation, we might have to tweak with how we play, but that doesn't mean the expectations aren't the same. Coach, you guys have had success on the road, including a win at Hayes. Um, final three game, or final games on the road. To end the season, you guys are fighting for a spot in the postseason. How can you get these girls to focus for these final three games? Well, we actually talked about that this morning before practice. You know, we're fighting for our playoff lives. And, and you know, that's not a bad thing. Uh, you'd like to be up higher in the rankings, and there's reasons that led to it. But you can't whine about it. You can't pout about it because nobody feels sorry for us. And, and I'm the last one that wants our kids to feel sorry for themselves. So, you know, you, you, you remind them that we have found success on the road. You remind them that if we take care of our intangibles, you know, if we, if we pursue excellence for 40 minutes in the fundamentals and not worry about our opponent, not worry about our crowd, we'll give ourselves an opportunity to find the postseason. All right, Coach, thank you for your time and good luck on Saturday. Thank you, sir.